but also right. so Latin simultaneously Latin. so what was happening in north korea simultaneously was that the centralized government distribution system collapsed completely when it was no longer subsidized and the north korean government decided that everyone was now on their own while simultaneously making any ownership and any trade whatsoever illegal and punishable with extreme punishments. So you were on your own, but forbidden to do anything that would get you out of your condition of starvation and privation. Exactly. I like Now I'm thinking back, people said like, oh, what were you allowed to do in North Korea? I literally sat down one day, like, what was I allowed to do on my own? Literally just breathing. That is the only thing that I was allowed to do on my own. The li regime literally tell you what to read, what to listen to. They even send you prison if you dance in a wrong way. If you wear jeans, they say it's a symbol of capitalism, they send you prison. If women wear like skirt, like pants, sometimes they say, oh, you got a women have to wear the skirt. And if you watch wrong movie, and even the haircut, they tell you what kind of hair. It was a funny joke for the Westerners. They, I cannot believe in North Korea, you have to follow the haircut line, the guidelines. That's how controlling the regime is. They intervene every aspect of your life. And literally, they, when there are some times when we have even electricity, they would give us this radio that we cannot turn off. We can lower the volume, but can never turn off at home so they force us to listen to this propaganda blast right and it's stuck on time. one channel yeah and, no, there's and, only one channel and you and you can't you can't move it move the station selector to listen to anything else that's illegal as well yes and that's the thing like the regime doesn't allow us to do anything and then but let us somehow find a way to survive and of course that means breaking the rules in north korea and my father was involved in black market where he started selling dry fish, sugar, rice, clothes, clocks. And then later the metals like copper, silver, copper. And of course that was illegal. And that's how it was sent to prison camp. 